Hi again, everyone. I'm Ali Matthews. This is The Narcissistic Resistance, and this resistance video is a sponsored video being sponsored by Cynthia for Rachel, and here's Rachel's story. Hello, Mr. Matthews. I hope this email finds you and Charlene well. Thank you for your channel and great work. Thank you for giving survivors a voice and sticking to, to the narcs. I would very much like your help with my situation. If it would be possible, could you find a sponsor for me, please? Thank you in advance. I need someone to tell me straight if I am the problem or not, and I believe that you will be able to do that. I will try to be as succinct as possible. For the past six months, I have been researching personality disorders, and gradually I have, been, I have put some of the pieces together in my head. Coming across your videos has been a, good, has been a godsend to me. Listening to so many people's stories, I hear the similarities, and I feel a little less crazy. My biggest fear is that I am the NARC BPD, as I recognize that I have some of the same behaviors and reactions as NARCs and BPDs. I feel that because I got off lightly with the abuse from my parents, comparatively not to minimize or trivialize it, means that my complaining, speaking out, and trying to resolve issues is making a mountain out of a molehill as I'm not mature enough to get over it, meaning that all of this is attention-seeking behavior, i.e. what a narc would do. I am aware that I am hard on myself and I have guilt issues, but the constant I'm the narc, no, they're the narc is driving me insane. A little background, I'm the only daughter only child of an overly protective, controlling, overt narc alcoholic father and covert narc or enabler mother, not sure which. Please note that both parents are baby boomers. My father is the youngest of five or six children and was adopted <clears throat> as an only child into my narc grandparents' house. Grandma was a narc she treated me as her golden child. Granddad was quiet and stoic, scared me somewhat. These grandparents have now passed away. My mom is now, my mom is the oldest of four children. There are 17 years between my mom and her youngest sibling, my aunt, who still lives at home with my gran. My aunt is the golden child. I don't remember my granddad on my mom's side. He passed away when I was about four, but some of the things that were said, he was similar in ways to my father. From what I can tell about my mom's family, they are narcs. I didn't spend a lot of time around my mom's side of the family and am somewhat estranged from them. From all that, I can understand why my parents are the way they are. I will send more of my story if you're interested in hearing it. After coming to the realization of who and what my parents are, I have come to the conclusion again that no contact is the way forward. <clears throat> From 2011, I have, had little, I have had limited contact in varying degrees with my parents if they moved to a different country, but even with that, their BS still affects me. Moreover, with the realizations is that I am now seeing how many people in my life are this way inclined. I feel like I am surrounded by them, even potentially dating one. Is this even possible or should I stop pointing the finger and face facts that it's me who is the narc BPD in all of this? I am at a point in my life now, 23, where I am finally able to decide what I want to do, but I have no idea what that even is. Your words and advice would very much be appreciated. Thank you for taking the time to read this. Kindest and warmest regards, Rachel UK. <clears throat> you're not giving me a lot, Rachel. I mean, you're asking me if you're a narc, if you're if you're the narc BPD. You gave me some pretty general background about your mom and dad. Your dad being adopted is. Is, is always a red flag when people come to me. This is what I'm, this is what I tell everybody, and I don't know how long you've been, been watching my, my, my channel. Okay. The true narcissist and the true borderline never ask the question if they are, if they could actually be the problem.
they won't even consider it. Not to be confused with the with the borderline monsters you see who admit to being borderlines on social media. They're only doing it for for the attention because they have no other choice. Now Everybody who's been abused by borderlines or narcissists or histrionics, in the anybody in the cluster B category of, border, uh, of personality disorders is going to always show signs and tactics of the, of the narcissist BPD who abused you. That's all we know. The difference is we know it's wrong. We become introverts as your parents go and move to another country and go gallivanting around, continuing on with their tactics as if nothing's wrong. Never would your parents consider the fact they may be the problem, though they are. We do. You do. That's how you know. When you've grown up around it and it's all you know, you're going to gravitate towards it. You're going to show signs of the tactics because it's all you it's all you know. But you also know it's wrong and have a problem with it. They don't. They never do. That's the difference. The fact that you're on here straight out asking the question, am I the problem? The problem never asks that question. And people who come on these type of channels like mine, <clears throat> who are the problem themselves, never actually ask, am I the problem? You see, they'll tell their stories, they'll commiserate, They'll suck up the they'll suck up the lingo and the and the knowledge, okay. But that's not who you who you are and who you're presenting yourself to be. You want to know: Are you the problem? Some of the things you're doing may be. <clears throat> Still doesn't make you the one with the personality disorder. It makes you the one abused by it makes you the one who wants to do something about it. Anything you're doing, you learn from them. Any bad tactic or behavior that you're projecting out comes from the narcissist. What happens with all of us? We know it's wrong, and it bothers us slows our development, drives us indoors, makes us into introverts. <clears throat> Where the narcissist gallivants around the world, moves to a different country, and faces no consequences, doesn't even consider, can't even consider, like, I'm the problem? It's not even in a, you might as well be speaking it to them in Chinese. It's like I, I don't even understand these words that you're saying. I'm the problem. Like they're not even like it's gibberish to the narcissist. It's gibberish. They can't even like it doesn't go, it's like nothing. It's like blah, 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 it's like doing that. Gibberish. Not with us, because we know it's wrong. The narcissist never asks if I'm the problem. Am I the problem? we do. So I'd be interested in hearing more of your story. So but thank you, Rachel, for sending it in. Thank you, Cynthia, for sponsoring the video. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comment section below. And if you want your story read right on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, you'd like to set up Skype, a phone call, have a private video made, Facebook chat, or you'd like to sponsor a video like this for someone who can't afford it or just sponsor the channel in general, help pay the bills, keep the lights on, see the channel grow, 
Those are always great as well. You know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. And if you're still unclear, wait for the instructional video link to pop up on the screen at the end of this video to walk you through all that. Please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been the Narcissistic Resistance. Take care.